Welcome to Twin Bridge Dairy Goats. We're glad you're here. It's about family, farm, and our girls. We're located in beautiful central Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plain. There's always something going on at the farm. So come along. This is what happened today. Hi friends, it's Friday afternoon. And guess what we're doing? We're gonna go get the bees. Gonna get the bees tonight. Woohoo! We have about an hour's drive uh, to the east of us, and um, we are going to be bringing them home tonight. <laughs> I kind of babies, wondered. All the bee babies are coming home tonight. Yeah, I I kind of wondered a couple of weeks ago. I was thinking about it, and I'm thinking they're going to be in the expedition, and we're going to be in the expedition. Are they going to be locked in a box or what? Because I sure don't want to be locked in here with them bees flying around or possibly flying around. So anyways, within a day of me thinking that, day or two of me thinking that, Brian got an email asking if he would like to purchase a net, a bag. A bag net. A bag net to put the nuke in. And so for a very small fee, they're going to be in a bag, a netted bag. It's, uh, it's insurance yes. for Teresa. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Needed that. Needed that. That's why I'm doing a ride-along, I guess. It's uh, It gives Teresa some peace of mind that there won't be any stragglers flying around in the cab with That's us. That's right. <laughs> That's right. All right. So we will catch up once we reach our destination. We made it. We made it. I'm sorry for the for the shade and the visors pulled down, but we are facing west right into so the, the sun. sun. Beaming right in our faces right but now. It's a beautiful sight. It's a beautiful sight after all that rain that we've had. Okay, yes. so we're in line. We're in line. We just pulled in and Brian was so happy that we wasn't the last ones in line. I wasn't. Yeah, I was glad that we weren't the last vehicle in line and somebody just pulled in behind me and I'm at the very back. We're at the very back of the line. The very back line. of the line, it looks like, <clears throat> next to the road that you turn in to the driveway to pick up the bees. So, anyways, it is what it is, I guess. But at least we're not the last one in line. We finally get to move. <laughs> it's been sitting here for like a long time 30 minutes and it's just a drive-through they just have it set up like a drive-through they've got it set up like a drive-through super super convenient looks I'll like. have a quarter pounder uh, make mine a combo with a side of bees he thinks he's so funny I want a side of I want I want a nuke of bees with my quarter pounder combo. Now we're in the yard. Now we're in the yard. Now we're in the yard. Now we can see stuff, but there's really not nothing a whole lot to see. To see. a long line behind us. I just thought we were the last ones in line. Mark Queen too. One day Mark Queen with a bag. There's a bag right there. Say that again? No, you answer my question. Okay. Thank you. What was your other question? Whether you release the queen. Don't wave them. You're not supposed to be waving them. No. There's um, one right there. two of them in here. Don't do that. See? Thank you. I got... So I'll make sure to tie this up, bro. Yes, thank you. Um, and I got the door. Thank you, love. I got a question about the queen. Is she in the nuke already? Do I yeah. release her? She's already in there. 
Okay, Perfect. I don't need to release her. No. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. Oh, uh, oh, oh, yeah, I got it. And she's marked. Mm -hmm. We're good? Go. Are you into that? Oh, I've been videoing this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. That was too easy. That was easy. Well, not too easy. I mean, there's nothing too easy. Brian but... swatted a couple of bees. That wasn't good. Uh, on your behalf, <laughs> not mine. Uh, sure. I sure didn't want you sure. getting stung. <laughs> they are back there. And we are leaving. And look at all of the people waiting for their own bees. What a process. And that took us an hour. They did a great job though. Okay, hey friends, it's uh, it's uh, Saturday morning. I picked up my bees last night and uh, I'll show you uh, a little bit of, I might show you a little bit of what went on last night. Uh, you know, it might've been an oversight, probably was an oversight because I'm a newbie, newbie, get it, beekeeper. And uh, so anyways, that is the nuke that was uh, placed on top of my uh, deep hive last night and uh, I'm super stoked to get them in the hive but I remembered um, I've got to put a couple nails in some of my frames I'm getting a little ahead of myself I glued the frames together and put the foundation in and everything but I forgot to put the nails in and I think it was because I was hurrying along trying to get them all together and again an oversight uh, Maybe not an oversight, just didn't do it at that time, but I was planning on it. Something else came up and I obviously didn't get it done. But anyway, let me turn you around and take a look at these bees. They are up and about and they are uh, buzzing the hive. They, they've buzzed me a couple times. Uh, they haven't landed on me or anything, but they're checking out their new digs. So that's the new bees and they are checking everything out this morning. Been watching them for a while and uh, uh, I was I was afraid that I had some bees trapped in my my uh, net that's over the top of the uh, nuke last night. Anyway, I'd, I'd open that up and uh, you'll see that in a few minutes. I'll try to Try to show some of that footage if it's any good, if you can see anything last night. Uh, we tried to get a little bit of it. Okay, there's the bees. There's the new home. We found a couple that was inside the truck. Oh, Brian picked them up. I'd like to see where I'm putting my hand on the front. Good with that? Is my Am I crushing bees? I don't think so. Or should I go from the bottom? I would go from the bottom. How about if I go like this? I'll go like this. Is it very heavy? Oh. Very heavy. I hope you didn't crush bees on the bottom. Well, it's been sitting on the bottom, so I didn't think I was. Yeah, that's true. Is that the, that's a vent. That's a vent. Maybe those are the bees that were just flying around and got trapped in the box. That's what happened. This vent. In the net. This is in, the hole is in the front. That's what I thought. So I'm going to tell on myself, because it's not always about everything good that happens there's failures that you must acknowledge in order to learn from it um, they say that hindsight is always 2020 and this was the case i should have just let the bees settle down pulled the net out released the bees that were in the net 
but that's not what I did. I pulled the net and it got caught on one of the corners of that lid. I tugged a little bit harder with force and it released and when it did, it jarred the bees. Pretty good. But you know, I got cocky and that's all it takes. Caught on one of the corners of that lid Two. and it jarred the bees. Yeah, that's a vent. That's up. a vent. That's their so airflow. This is, and this then is what I gotta, this the is what net I was free undo. from the nuke. Take that off. You just did. And then I pulled the you? cap. No. And that entrance hole that I'm pointing to right there, the bees poured out like water. Let's think about this. Teresa is gone at this point. Um, she's already in the house. I'm out there with my little flashlight on my phone and uh, I hightailed it out of there. Um, like I said, the bees were like a fog at that point and uh, I grabbed my sticks and there must have been a bee between my sticks. They were, they were kind of lighting on me because, and it was my fault because I basically crushed the bee between my forearm of the crutch and my forearm. With that many bees airborne, it's a wonder I only got one sting instead of multiple stings. So needless to say, there was no video footage of that event. So a note to anyone watching this, if you are going to be installing a nuke of bees with a bag net over it, it'd be a good idea to take off the net, let the bees settle down before you open the cap. That the thing entrance. is loaded with bees. Just teeming with bees. Okay guys, I'm back over here. Uh, I told you I had a, a few frames that didn't get the nails put in them, but I wanna, I wanna zoom in and show you something. This just excited me to, I just can't tell you how excited I am. Look at this little guy right here. That is from the nuke. He's coming over here and checking out this frame. Is that awesome or what? <laughs> Those bees are all over the place. As you can tell, I'm a little bit excited. So I have my box, uh, I've got some uh, patties here, B Pro patties, I've got my smoker, I've got two of my frames in here already. Okay, I'm going to be taking five frames out of my nuke and putting them in the new hive, so I'm going to have to replace five with five. Hello friends, the day after we got the bees. I am in the garden with my winter jacket. It's a uh, heavy denim, you know, and my uh, bib over overalls because I didn't get a bee suit. He did, but here we go. Okay, friends, here we are in the bee yard. Brian's got his smoker going. Here we go. Up. Ready to uh, see if we can install this nuke. The bees don't seem to be bothering me too much. They are checking me out though. thing he's going to do is take the nuke, which is the cardboard box holding the bees, and take it and put it down on the table. And then he's going to remove five of his frames from his beehive. Looks 
like there's a few bees still in here. Maybe I should uh, maybe reverse it. frames in the nuke that I'll be putting inside this box first. Guys, remember this is an all new experience for us. We've never dealt with bees. He's smoking the inside. There's a vent back there in the back. The wind is really up and I don't know if that's a good thing or not. He built the table. You guys go back and check out some of the videos of him getting ready uh, to get his bees. He's been anticipating this for a while. I think he ordered them in March. I'm remembering what, what I was reading. Smoke your hands a little bit. First thing is the lids can open up, so <laughs> here okay. goes nothing. Shh. Doesn't it just flip off like a, yeah. Oh my goodness, what is that? Bees. I know, but is that comb up there or? It's comb. So they've been living in this living nuke in a while, yeah. for a while. That's awesome. Okay. Smoke the top of this. It's just blowing away from them. The bees should move out of the way a little bit. And they are. They're, they're pretty much uh, moving. That's awesome. He has a tool. What's that tool called? This is called a hive tool. <laughs> we're doing it we're doing it look at this this is that's honey stores you can see the awesome awesome awesome, the, awesome. Awesome, honey. <laughs> That's awesome.
of B sites. I've watched them do this enough, you'd think that I could uh, be successful. that too I saw it on the other side He still has not yeah, found the right queen there. yet. Still haven't found the queen. That's the third frame. I see the queen. Awesome. She's got a yellow dot on her. Can you see her? Okay, let me see. Right about the middle of the frame. Can you see the little yellow, yellow dot on top of her? On, I do see it. It's she's also a different color. You see that? Yes, that's awesome. She's crawling around. She's yeah. Busy, busy. That's awesome, honey. That's awesome. Yay. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is going to be awesome. I think he's as excited as I was whenever Louisiana delivered three dolings at Christmas, December 20th. Louisiana gave us three dolings. You guys can go back and check that video out for sure. It was a lot of fun. Brian has wanted to do these for several years, but just didn't know if he would cap would be capable and um, not capable, but oh maybe my. physically I able. I see the honey. Can you see the honey on that? Look at this side. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That? That's awesome. <laughs> if he would be physically capable to manage and take care of them like they need um i know there's not just a ton of stuff you have to do for them but okay so now that my five frames are there now i'm going to take <laughs> my baby frames and put beside them i am actually right here in the bee yard the with She's him and I don't know if it's because the wind is blowing or I'm so far back that I can see the bees, you know, flying around, but they sure are not buzzing me. So she'll lay her eggs in that. She'll lay her legs they're pretty much laying me alone. And really, they're and not all over Brian's suit either. Wax. They'll use that and they'll start building this out. But she'll start laying eggs. Is that what you mean she'll by building start it out? Eggs on this, yes. Just like we had the cat brood, those bees, those, she'll start laying on this and I'm going to squeeze these all together and put the last of the frames in here. I'm almost tempted not to put, this is the 10 frame deep and I'm almost tempted not to put the full 10 frames in here because of, it's so tight with the comb and everything built out. So what are you thinking, maybe eight? Eight, nine frames? Nine frames instead. Do you have enough room for nine? It'll it looks, take ten. Well, I know, but it looks pretty packed right now. I think I'm going to do nine. Look at that. See? She's full of pollen. Look at their back legs. It's just full. That's awesome. See that? I can't. Let me see if I can. Can you see it? I don't want to get too close because... Yeah, see. Can you see the no, legs? No, I, and I can't get that close. There's another one. She just dove in. Let's get these tighter. again. I'm going to go ahead and put it in after all. I'm, I'm looking at
at the space and it looks like this middle is where the activity is that's where the brood is and they seem to be mostly concerned about this center area here so with these two extra frames on the side uh, there's some like bird out comb and that will actually probably fuse together the two um, so i'm good with it i've got 3 B space I'm, I'm good uh, i've checked my thing to do is to put my uh, inner cover over the top and then a feeder and we're gonna do we're gonna do sugar water and uh, a patty so I'm gonna get those ready cardboard boxes and lid and in their new hive. Okay, and you're doing what now? I'm peeling off the burr cone so my, my inner cover will lay down flat. I was wondering. What are you going to do with that? I'm just trying to be careful with it. Do you? I, I'm going to, I'm actually going to save it. again. This is so awesome. I just poured the sugar water in the, the rapid feeder. Now I'm going to put my lid on it. Now I get another box. into the new hive. Is that awesome or what? I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed doing this today. Uh, this has just been a blast. If you would give it a like, comment, subscribe, it would be awesome. Chat later. Okay guys, that's what happened today. So if you like this video, share it. And if you wouldn't mind, comment. Let us know if this was valuable information to you or not. And if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time we post because there's always something going on. At Twin Bridge Dairy Goats. Chat later.